guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm obviously here for a Beacon Book Box unboxing for the month of May. I hope you guys are ready. I believe this month's theme was Layers of Magic, so I think it's gonna be pretty stellar. That's enough intro, am I right? Okay, you guys know the drill. All the info is going to be in the description. Rub code is Chelsea5. You can use it on this. You can use it on special edition boxes if you so desire. Their Five Dark Fates box is looking pretty great as they're like revealing things. Just tossing that out there. So let's get into this. Oh my god, look how thick this box is. My tiny, tiny hands barely fit around it. Okay, so let's get into this. So here we go. Ooh, we got bubble wrap up in here. What does that mean? Ooh, it's like soft bubble wrap. Okay, we're gonna play with that later. But this is what the box is looking like. I wonder if they're using that instead of like the paper squiggles, which my cat is gonna be disappointed about, but I am gonna be a-okay, because you guys know how many unboxings I do. Do you know how many squiggles are floating around my house permanently? It's an issue in my life. This is the spoiler card. Ooh, ah, isn't that lovely? I like their artwork. And I like that their spoiler cards are kind of their own like art piece, so. Don't look at the back of that. Is that glary? Is that super glary? It's gonna be glary. There we go. No, mm -mm. there we go. Better. Okay, so let's see. First thing that I'm seeing is I'm guessing a bag of tea. This is Magnus Demora Chamomile Black Citrus Tea. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, so it's black tea, chamomile, lemon peel, orange peel, lemongrass, hibiscus, mint, and natural flavors. Ooh, and this is from the Simply Bookish Company. So we got a lovely packet of tea. That sounds pretty good. I like black teas and I like black teas that have like some sort of flavoring in them. So this has like a lot. This has some citrus stuff. It has mint, which is gonna be interesting. So I'm curious about that. Next thing, you guys are gonna be so excited, is a candle. Um, King of Scars, perfect. So this is from Novelly Yours, which I have tons of candles from them at this point and I like them. Citrus, musk, and sandalwood. Okay, let's see how this goes. Ooh, it's got lovely glitter. It's like a yellowish color and it has gold glitter on top. I mean, it smells citrusy. It smells a little musky. Musk and sandalwood are not really my go-to scents. Like I said, if it smells like food or fruit, I'm gonna love it. Everything else is like hit or miss. This one's not bad though. The next thing is something that I am really excited about. It's part of their custom dust jacket line. So this is the second one in the Lunar Chronicles series. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, who is this artist? Kat Adara, I knew that. I said that last time. Shoot, she is so good. So this is the dust jacket that goes on Scarlet. And I know it looks kind of wonky and all over the place. Again, I'm gonna put a picture right here of what the series is gonna look like when it's complete. But can we just take a second to focus on like that? Oh my God, look how great Scarlet and Wolf look in this. Oh my gosh. And like her Red Riding Hood cape slash, I mean, I, it's supposed to be a hoodie, but I love that. Oh my goodness, and these are the inside of flaps and they just have like constellations on them. Oh, look at it, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, the book sleeve. Okay, hold on, we'll come back to the book. Oh my God, look at it, it looks so great. Okay, there's another item. We have Kingdom of Morrigan uh, from Fairy Tale Bath Company and this is a shower steamer. It is ocean air and dark woods. I can smell it faintly through the plastic. I don't know, it smells like ocean air and dark woods. I mostly just smell uh, plastic, but I love shower steamers. We've got that. I love getting these. These are some of my favorite things to get in book boxes. One, because I can use them and it's not something that I'm just going to collect on my shelves for endless amounts of time. And two, I really like the experience. I don't know. It just makes like a regular daily shower like feel special. Does that make sense? Okay. So there's another item, but guys, this book sleeve. Mm, it's so great. Oh my God, there's something underneath. Okay, we'll get to the books, leave it a second. I'll get to the things that are underneath. We have kind of an art print quote from, well, it says Stephanie Garber. So I'm assuming this is either Carval, Legendary or Finale. It says, some things are worth pursuit regardless of the cost. If y'all know which one that's from. I'm assuming Carval because that's like what the print kind of looks like. I haven't read Beyond Carval. I know, I know. One day, maybe, probably not. So we have that. And we also have the recipe card for baking with the beacons. This is Katza cinnamon roll sugar cookies. Who is Katza? Don't know, but it is looking pretty good. Cinnamon roll sugar cookies. 
Oh my God, there's cream cheese frosting that you put on them. Oh my gosh, so it kind of looks like snickerdoodles maybe with like frosting. Ooh, that sounds so good. Okay guys, this book's leaf and the book is inside of it. Look at it. Oh my God, it's all of the Hogwarts houses, but like stained glass. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my gosh. There we are. I'm a Ravenclaw, so perfect. Oh, and it even has like G-H-S-R. Uh, oh, well, that was a snake. Lies. S-R. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. The little like, oh, look at that. I love this. I think this is my favorite one that I've gotten from them. I like that they send seasonal ones because I kind of like matching like my book accessories with like the season sometimes, but I love this one. This is so awesome. Oh, and it feels like nice. Okay. Anyway, the book is inside of it. Oh, that's right. Okay. The book is Romanoff. I forgot about that by Nadine Brandes, who is a big bookstagrammer, by the way. Um, awesome. Not even royal blood can stop bullets. Ooh, that's a tagline and a half. Am I right? Oh my god, this cover is stunning. I didn't realize that it was actually gold foiled. All of the gold is like reflecty. Uh, spine. Gorgeous. Back. Also gorgeous. What does it look like? Naked. Ooh, okay, we'll get to that stuff in a second. Oh, it's just black and oh god, gold. Can you see that? Alrighty, so it looks like we have a letter from the author who is Nadine, who is a sweetheart. I recommend following her. Her bookstagram account is great. And if I recall correctly, yes, this one is indeed signed, which means they are moving up in the world, which is real exciting. Like no more book plates, signed books. Oh my gosh, look at that title page. Ah, oh, this book looks so good. Obviously, this is a Romanoff story. I haven't read it. I've heard good things. I believe it's like an Anastasia. Yeah, Anastasia Romanoff, which is like one of the best movies from our early childhood in the 90s. All y'all who are old as I am. Oh my god, it's so good. So this is a story of Anastasia basically saying, the history books say I died. They don't know the half of it. Uh, sounds so good. So that is the book with the book sleeve. How do I, can you guys see everything? The book sleeve is just gonna hide behind it. This is all of the stuff that came in the May Beacon book box. Like I said, all of the info will be down in the description if you guys would like to check it out. I don't think they've announced the June theme yet, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Normally I would let you guys know, but I don't know it yet. So that's gonna be it for this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one.